<laughs> Mr. McEnroe is pumped up. <laughs> to say, to the, say least. the least. Back on serve. But he's still in trouble. Three all. Convert this momentum now. Ooh, I think he had second thoughts about letting that one by, didn't he? Just long, though. And you can see the pace of his gait is quickened a bit. He's going to take a little less time trying to keep the momentum rolling. Bouncing around the court a lot more than he was early in this set. Now we're getting into the intangible category I put up there. <laughs> you pick McEnroe to begin with. Do you stick with him at this point? Uh, I do. I do. I just thought that he wants it so badly. I don't think Becker wants it any less badly, but John, I think, learned quite a bit from having played Boris before, and he feels confident right now. Ace McEnroe. First man in double figures with 10. And he's catching up in the winner's department. Becker has hit 28 clean winners, 26 clean winners, McEnroe 20. Second straight ace, McEnroe serves the love game, holds serve here in the seventh game. He leads 4-3. We've got a great match, the finals of the AT&T Challenge from Atlanta. Look at Randy Tobias, the vice chairman of AT&T, taking in the action here. He'll present the trophies at the conclusion of today's match. And Andrew Young, the mayor of Atlanta, who's a pretty good tennis player, isn't he? Aaron? Yes, I've given him a few lessons. And seated right behind him is Gunter Bosch, Forrest Becker's coach. Eight game, third set. Fair umpire to change the decision. Becker's ninth ace. In their match Tuesday night, McEnroe protested so vehemently at one point that he was assessed a, a penalty point. so fast that the lines persons can't see it is Boris Becker. I had trouble, and we have a very good view of that line telling whether it was good or not. We are told the replay is inconclusive as well. Is that the reverse angle like the NFL <laughs> that uh, we had a panel of judges taking a look at? John asked the other day at the... Third match in round robin, he was tweeting for instant replay like the NFL. <laughs> Wide. That serve, three, 15. that serve of Becker's two points ago had to be, we're talking 125 plus miles per hour. <laughs> In very good English. Uh, John is saying that ball was six inches out, two points ago. That's an exaggeration. It wasn't six inches out, but it was close. Tried a sharply angled backhand cross court that time. Couldn't quite get over the net. Boris Becker was right there nonetheless. 40 15. Oh, Fabulous. A turn of service on a strong Boris Becker serve. That's 
that's what we call a no-brainer. You just swing <laughs> and hope for the best. <laughs> right. 40-30. Obviously, folks, it's close to 6 o'clock on the East Coast. We're going to stay with this. approach shot cross court because when you come in you have to literally put yourself in the middle of the court and you could be passed either way and of course when they played at Stratton Mountain they ended the match with a tiebreaker looks like it could go that way this time Stratton. McEnroe had three match points in that third set tiebreaker before losing. So watch that again. Boom, right in the corner. And that's another oh. one. Twelfth ace of the match for Boris Becker. Fighting off the break point. Oh, that was a game. Right on the line. Woo! You will not see. <laughs> you can't cut it any finer than no. that, can you? Three in a row, right in the corner. So Boris Becker takes the game with his 13th ace of the match. 